Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And today is July 9th, 2020. And that decision means that today is 115th day in shelter here. And as always, wherever you are and how far you are out or how much longer you're in your shelter, please take care. Keep healthy and help those around you to be very safe. Well, today I got a new view a different perspective, an unusual event that reminded me that we are still in the midst of COVID-19. It's not like I forgot or not like I set it aside or got some kind of distortion going on. It's just I discovered a new layer to COVID-19. So here's the story. Today, I gave myself permission to drive over the hill, which is oh, 27 or something miles away from where I live, which by my standards lately is far out. So I am on my way and I am excited. I have my list because I am on the way to my favorite Asian market to get freshly made, warm to the touch, firmly soft to the tension, tofu. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Even if you do not like tofu, if you take this and you cut it into small cubes and you pick your very marinated sauce, whatever you like from Asian to Cajun, whatever you like for your marinade and your sauce. Put those cubes in a plastic container. I use a plastic bag, close it, and then I can lay it down on a plate and I can turn it and turn it and turn it and mix it around. Do that for two days. Then get whatever sheet pan you would like, whatever broiler pan, any kind of pan that you want that is flat. Put some olive oil on it or some aluminum foil on it, something so that it doesn't make the pan something that you don't really want to look at because you know you have to scrub it, whatever way you want it so it doesn't stick. Put it into a 400 degree oven, and guess what? Cook it until it shrinks, it is more solid, and it will just bounce back to the touch. Let that cool. Put it, you can use it immediately and whatever you want with stir fries, you can use it to make your omelets, your frittatas. You can use it any way you want and you can make extra, which I always do. And then you can put it in the freezer and you have instant additions to whatever you want to make. If you want to make a curry, if you want to make a marinara sauce and put some in anything that you want and you might want to try it like i say i was not 
a fan of tofu in the very beginning until I found this way that I created to put different flavors into it. Try it. If not, put it in your toolbox. If that doesn't interest you, just take it, wad it up, and put it in the wastebasket. You do not have to eat the tofu. This was just part of my finally getting a big, huge day out. And on my list also, I have a favorite Mediterranean Persian store that I go to. And on Thursdays, it has fresh pita bread. Oh, puffy, puffy, fresh pita bread. And it has the best, juiciest, soft, dried dates imaginable. That is the best store. And the herbs, the Zabzi, is fresh. Wonderful. Oh, smell. Get the ones you want. They stay fresh for so long. And then on my list is one more store. And that is where two more stores. One is a little shop where they roast the sesame seeds and make fresh tahini. Just like you would go into a shop and get fresh peanut butter, you watch them grind the tahini. It comes out so rich and thick. So I've tucked my little, in my mind, tucked my jar of tahini, put it in my bag, and I am off to one more shop, and that is the Indian grocery store called Cash and Carry. Ah, I get my herbs there that I didn't get at the other shop. I get fresh spices, whole spices that I can grind for my masalas, for all for my Asian five spices, all of the mixes that I use for different cooking. Plus, on Thursday, there is fresh naan. Just order how many pieces you want. Magically, somebody has taken that dough, put it against the tandoori oven, and comes out just like you would get maybe a pizza dough. It has some crust and some little brown on the bottom, on the top, melted ghee. When that butter sinks in, to that non. Oh, I buy extra. I always say I'll wait till I get home. Nah. Nope. I tear it. It goes in my mouth without even an eyelash of a choice. So I am on my way with that list, mouth watering, recipes going in my mind. I have decided that this is my day. So I'm on my way. Things are looking great. Blue sky, few little puffy friendly clouds, warm summer day, and I am ready to drive. Wow. And then, not something that I planned, not a backup plan, nothing that I put into my toolbox. All of a sudden, my car, when I am shifting gears, goes <laughs> and it feels like and sounds like it's going to stall. And I absolutely take such good care of my car such good care of the engine, and guess what? 
it very nearly almost stopped. So I thought, okay, maybe I had not put the gas cap on, maybe because it just seemed like it had something to do with the fuel line or the fuel filter. Anyway, just some little thought came into my mind, pulled off, redid the cap where I put the gasoline, got in my car, and it was going fine. I don't think it was anything magical about the, the gas cap. It just suddenly I remembered, I couldn't remember putting it on in my excitement to go over the hill. So I'm going along magically with my list, little dreamy-eyed, enthusiastic about finally getting out for a while. This may sound silly to you, except I'm at extremely high risk. So this was a rarity to me. And I was all by myself. Nobody else was in the car. And then, and then it started again. Before I got to the part of the highway that is a point of no return up the hill. And I thought, oh, this is not fair. What is going on? So I pulled off, shut the engine off for just a little while, started it back, and it was going fine. Except, have you ever had, I did, maybe you do, maybe we all do, just this kind of feeling, like, oh, something's just not okay. It's that kind of feeling that if you have it and you override it and say, oh, just brush it aside, and at one moment, crash, whatever it was, that foreboding, that other shoe, whatever way you want to put it, something happens and then you know why you had that feeling. It's not logic. It's not a fear factor. It's just kind of something in our third brain, kind of in our, our little gut. Maybe it's intuition. Maybe it's some other kind of knowledge. Maybe it's called a hunch. Maybe it's just called an idea, sensation, whatever. Anyway, I had one of those. So I turned around and I was driving back home and it did it yet another time. And this time it almost didn't catch. It almost stalled in the middle of the highway. So I pulled off to the shoulder and sat there just for a few minutes. And then I thought, well, it seems to be going okay. And so I started to pull back on the highway from the shoulder. My gosh, there were so many cars that I couldn't safely pull onto the highway. And then I thought, well, you know, since I don't know what's going on with the car, I don't want to pull out there and have the car completely stall in the middle of it and everybody's crashing cars around me and maybe on top of me. So here was my revelation that I want to share with you. That is, I called my road service, happens to be AAA, and I got a recorded message that said, before we complete service with you, we want you to know that because of the COVID-19, we are social distancing and you will no longer be able to sit in the cab with the tow truck driver. Well, there is nowhere else to sit. There's one seat, one driver, one passenger side. And I thought, oh no. So they said, you know, 
a relative, a neighbor, a friend. Can you believe it? I could find no one today, including my husband. I called and I called and I called. And how did I know that he was in a location out of service? And I got no indication on my phone. So I am leaving message after message after message, ringing, 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 texting, texting, texting. And as I'm doing that, can you believe it? I see three tow trucks drive by and guess what? I had no ride home and I certainly couldn't just sit along the highway. So I sat there and I thought, well, highway patrol will come and one did and I want you to know that on my gratitude list today is this officer. He was on a motorcycle. He pulled behind me. He came to my window and asked what was happening and was I okay? And then he, I told him and I was afraid to go on to the highway. And he said, well, I want you to just wait a minute, I'm going to call somebody else, they will come, they will get in the traffic, and they will slow it down so that you can pull out. And he said, when I see them, and I tell you to go, I want you to go, because they're slowing down the traffic, and it's backing up, and I said, I can do it. And so he asked if I had enough gas, and this was the fun part, because <laughs> I said, oh, yes, I have a full tank. You know why? Because my dad. Daddy would always say, change the oil in your car, have it checked regularly, and always, always fill your tank just in case there is an emergency. So I could proudly say, yep, Dad, I did it. I have gasoline in my car, total. And I told the, the officer the story about my dad and he just laughed and he said, I'm a dad. It sounds like a dad kind of thing to say. And so we waited and the other officer had not gotten the message. So this man said, just a minute, I'm going to go out. I'm going to pull out into traffic. I'm going to go slow. And I want you to go in front of me and I will follow you to the next exit. And he did. And the car ran. And when I got to the exit, I just rolled down the window and waved and he waved back. And I just thought of my dad because he always helped people like that too. And he always helped me. So I was very grateful for that officer. And I pulled off and fortunately my mechanic shop is just a little bit down the road from pulling off on that exit, lucky day. And so I got there and they said they would check it out and then they would give me a call. So right now I'm waiting for the call and I'm hoping that it's nothing major. This car has served me so well. And that is my story of my outing. And I am guessing at some point you have made plans. They have not gone so well and you have managed and felt really grateful for having done the managing so well and having had somebody help you. That's my message. The COVID-19 has all kinds of different layers to it. That was my layer. All right, push subscribe, come back tomorrow because I will be here and I will be looking for you and I will not be out on the highway 
with my car. All right, bye for now.